fool a lot of people with this thing because from how it looks, it looks like a bolt-on car, but this thing makes north of 1,400 wheel horsepower. I mean, it's absolutely insane. Let's take a look. Javier from That Racing Channel. On today's episode, we came to visit a couple of the TRC Street King sponsors. Today is gonna be an awesome day. They have a ton of different cars for us to check out. Got my boy Sam here. What's up, Sam? All right, so let's go check out Rare Fab and see what they got going on. What's up, my man? What's up, buddy? Thanks for having us. Yeah, no problem. So uh, give us a little tour here. What do we got? This is the car that we were just talking about uh, that we did the twin turbo sleeper uh, kit on. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this thing so you can see what fast looks like. Outside of the wheels and tires, this thing just looks stock. That's kind of the point. So this has been dubbed the sleeper kit. Yep. And it looks bone stock. <laughs> you yeah. fool a lot of guys at the at the meets with this one for sure. So yes. basically we have a, a, a custom intake and that's it, right? Yeah, and a fuel pressure gauge in the back. That's about <laughs> it. So, and yeah, then, to the untrained eye, this all looks stock. If you uh, really know what's going on, then you'll notice that the mass air meter isn't here anymore. Uh, you'll notice that that's actually a fuel pressure regulator hiding there. We got another one here. Uh, we have another uh, boost controller solenoid that's hiding yeah, it's there. Yeah, a little boost solenoid there. Yep. Nice and tucked away. Yep, everything's nice and clean. You can still access it because it's not just about uh, functionality, it's also about form. We want it to look good, but we want you to be able to service uh, your build as well if you need to. Uh, so everything is there that you need. Uh, when you really start looking in a little bit deeper, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but you'll see the daily engineering dry sump pump that is a part of the oil return system because it doesn't use an electric scavenge system. It uses a mechanical drive so that it won't fail, like nice. an electric system. So uh, I'm guessing there's turbos hiding here somewhere. Yeah, they're on the bottom. You want to take a look? Throw it up, man. Let's take, right. let's take a look. So this is where all the magic happens down here with the sleeper kit. Um, this is significantly different than other Hellion kits. Uh, we really, really like this kit a lot. Uh, one of the big things is that you can actually fit T4 flange turbos on here, uh, which allows you to make upwards of 14 or 1500 horsepower. We have already done 1400 horsepower uh, on a fully built uh, Gen 2. It was sleeved, you know, the full nines. It uh, made 1,404 horsepower and 1,101 foot-pounds of torque. You can fool a lot of people with this thing because from how it looks, it looks like a bolt-on car but this thing makes north of 1,400 wheel horsepower. I mean, it's absolutely insane. Let's take a look. This thing's very unsuspecting. Super rad. Full street car. On some Nitto NTO 5Rs. This is, it's so tucked in here and it's so neat. Yeah. 
So that is so awesome. So the first question people are going to have is clearance, obviously, because this is like yeah. So super you got you got system. this thing. Uh, one of the things that we do as much as we can, the the bracket is hangs a little bit lower than this stock. Uh, what we do is we modify the holes to get it up as high as we can without changing the drain back pitch. Mm -hmm. um, we're actually in the middle of working on a, a brace that we'll be able to put here to actually, if you do hit something, it'll Kinda hit the brace everything. and not the tank. Yeah. Uh, so basically the kit comes with the adapters, the uh, turbo kits. This particular car uh, uses the upgraded headers uh, from them. Otherwise you use a Gen 1 driver side header that has a bolt-on flange. Uh, that can so be So this sold is essentially a bolt-on kit? It, it's a bolt-on kit. Yeah. So you use a Gen 1 header and then that makes it bolt in. Okay. Um, we bolt the turbos on, we bolt this tank on, we have to clock the turbos and the wastegate so that the clearance and everything fits properly. We cut these lines to size, we do uh, the lines for, uh, for the return. Uh, one thing that we do that's custom out of the kit is we use a higher quality high temp silicone with stainless steel fittings for running the vacuum lines for the boost controller setup. The stuff that comes with the boost controller and the stuff that comes with the kit is it's adequate, but for long-term racing yeah. use, we prefer to use this. So that's something bit. that we do that's a little bit different. I love this little waste kit right here too. I didn't notice it yeah. before. It's very cool. So it's actually really awesome because the cars, even with full exhaust, are relatively quiet. Yeah. And uh, right up until the gates open. When the gates open, it's like... <laughs> all hell breaks party, loose. All hell breaks loose. <laughs> yeah. uh, which is also a lot nicer. Um, they have a chew dump valve i forget what they call it but they have an exhaust where it's like a boost actuated cutout oh yeah that is obnoxious so you could have completely stock <laughs> exhaust and then as soon as boost comes in this opens up so you have no restriction cut out, yeah. but my god it's like open header under here that's awesome that's crazy yeah so, well, i can't wait to go for a spin in this thing yeah so other than that you got your two intercooler pipes which come up here uh obviously everything's hidden under here but you'll be able to see the intercooler sitting up front uh, he did the blackout option, so it's a little hard to see the intercooler. I'll drop it down for you. Extra sleeper? Extra sleeper. We ran into valve float issues, keeping the factory resonator and the factory exhaust. Uh, and he wanted to push for everything that he could get. So what we did is we took this Cook's long tube exhaust setup, because we know that this flows really well. And we custom modified it to fit with this, which is you know our specialty to do this. Uh, we take parts that don't work and we can make them work, which makes things easy. Uh, modified it, got it to fit on here like it was supposed to be on here, and we picked up over 100 wheel horsepower. We went from valve floating around 870, 880 to making 995 to the wheel at 16 PSI. Uh, so wow. it made a huge difference. Yeah, that's nuts. Suspension wise, uh, we got the uh, bread and butter kit, and then we got an aluminum drive shaft in here. We also have the Viking shocks. And uh, we take and we get these cars aligned to a specific drag spec, uh, and then we set the shocks, and it's pretty much a very good starter point. Uh, on this exact setup, um, on Jimmy's 2015 that we went sevens with, we were able to cut a 1 to 160 foot with these components. So it's it's pretty awesome. straightforward. Yeah, it makes the car So fast. if uh, I had a bone stock Mustang, I believe that one's bone stock right back there. That one is getting the same stuff that this one is, except he's going to have me make custom exhaust that's a little bit lighter. But other than that, it's the same exact. So if I brought package. one, how long till I get my car back? Uh, on a build of this doing this much with the suspension and everything it's about two weeks and that includes the time on the dyno oh as God. long as everything goes right two uh, weeks are you serious yeah that's wild nine times out of ten everything fits right because we pick all the parts we have our packages yeah. we know that it works together if a customer supplies something there's always something that could that is up. super badass and butter. yeah exactly <laughs> so uh and that included wow. oil pump gears and all that so we go into the engine wow. we do the oil pump that's gears awesome. Uh, we put the turbo kit on, the four fuel system, which you can't even see where it's run, but it's, uh, we have the lines hiding in here, the fuel filter is hidden up underneath the factory plastic there, like the whole point, the whole point is all our time and effort all factory. goes into making it look factory, which kind of sucks because nobody realizes the amount of time that goes into it. <laughs> You're making me want a Mustang, man. <laughs> yeah, we make a lot of people want Mustangs. <laughs> we got the sleeper staying behind us here. This thing is super badass. Let's do a quick walk around, then we're going to go for a ride. What's up, man? All right, go ahead and uh, rev her up for us. Man, that is surprisingly super quiet. Yeah, and that's straight three inch. Straight that three is muffins. awesome. You mind popping the hood? Ready for a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
Doesn't get more sleeper than that, man. Oh, <laughs> you can roll up somebody on the line and they'll never know, even if you flex. Never know, man. All right, let's go for a spin. All right, so not only does this thing make what? Close to a thousand horsepower? But Almost. We nice got cold AC. nice cold AC and power steering. Full street car, baby. Not just power steering, but you got a bunch of different driving modes. Uh, Cause you can put it in sport mode. You can put it in comfort driving mode. If you get Magna ride suspension, you can change the handling of the car. All of those features, you know, are option or most of them come standard. It's actually really luxurious now. Digging it. Looks like the same button in the GT500. Yeah. And as you can see, it just cruises like stock. And this stock. thing drives like stock. That is awesome. Let's tip into it a little bit. Oh, you just feel that boost come in just a almost bit. instant, just with a little <laughs> bit of tip of the throttle. that next gear yeah man that 10r80 is like boom 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 when it boom. clicks that next gear it's uh <laughs> the boost gets you in the stomach yeah so you get that Dude, this uh, thing is awesome yeah man it's just you just put your floor in it yep if, if someone some just put me in this car and take away the gauges and all that stuff and uh, you'd never know just by the sound and and the drivability yeah if you were just regular driving and you really didn't floor it because it wasn't you know not your car uh, you wouldn't know. You could stick your mom in it and say, hey, go get groceries, and she'd never know. <laughs> Until so, she hits the gas and that, that boost kicks her in the chest now. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this thing's brand new, 273 miles as of now. It's, uh, this guy just dropped the car off brand new. was like, I want to do this, this, and this. Uh, between Palm Beach Dino and us, uh, we put the package together. It's one of our turnkey packages. You basically just say you want to do this. We put all the parts together, you drop it off. We install everything. Uh, we put the time and effort into the quality of the build and then it goes next door to uh, Palm Beach Dino and they put the time and quality into the tune so it drives like stock and you get the reliability of stock and that's the whole point of you know doing these turnkey packages is we take all of the guesswork out of it for you because we're using parts and setups and combinations that are proven. Very awesome man. You guys yeah. always do really really good stuff from what I've seen over the years so. Oh, I appreciate it. We worked real hard to uh, to make sure that quality is number one. You know, sometimes builds take a little bit longer or wait times are a little longer than people want, but everybody always gets the same amount of attention to detail. So now we're putting it in sport mode. Yep, so we're gonna do uh, the roll racing style. So sport mode, then bump it in the drive. You ready? Yep. down to a science so when you're doing roll racing you know it's easy to go to the drag ship and just put it in drive let it go but a uh, roll racing you want to hold that gear and that speed so you just put it in uh, sport you paddle use the paddles to select the gear that you want to stay in and as soon as you've got it floored and you know that you got traction just click it up in the drive and let the car do its thing that is so awesome dude these tires really work I mean it's literally not even a hiccup the thing just hooks and, and books man this thing is just radical man so this thing gets absolutely gets a TRC approved stamp Awesome. Super impressive, man. I think Ford should do these from the factory. <laughs> kind of like a like a Steeda type deal. Uh, you should do a, a rare fab slash Palm Beach Dino turbo well, sleeper turbo kit. You know, that Listen here, might Ford. Be in the words. <laughs> <laughs> so here we have one that's underway. Yep. It literally just rolled on the lift today. It is completely bone stock, minus having the interior stripped out of it a little bit. We are doing the same exact thing to it. So here are all the components. These are the two turbos that we're going to be using. A lot of the uh, suspension components, so he's got the Viking shocks, the lockout kits, the tow links, the vertical links, and the front lower control arm bushings. This is the four fuel system. So he has got the triple hat, so he went big dog with this. You got your FC3 controller with your hob switch, uh, your dual regulator setup because it is a 2018 and that requires two regulators, one specifically static for the DI system and one varied off of boost and vacuum for the uh, the port injection side. Uh, what size turbos? Uh, I believe these are 6264s. Uh, but this is basically in the beginning stages. We get the front bumper off so that we can get the uh, the front grill section out. We can start putting the intercooler in. 
Uh, we're going to be doing the oil pump gears in this as well, so I have to take the valve covers off and take manifold off because we have to delete the IMRCs. Get all of this front stuff off, go in, tear it apart, put the oil pump gears, sprocket in, retime the engine, put it back together, then we can start throwing the turbo kit on. And then after that, we'll do the uh, suspension in the rear and the fuel system. Awesome. Yeah, it's, it's really awesome what you can do with these cars. So unfortunately, the uh, 11 to 14 Coyotes, they're not that strong, you know, too much over 500 horsepower, and they like to explode. But uh, we really, really got lucky from Ford with the 15 to 17 and the 18 pluses. So 15 to 17, you can pretty reliably, as long as you do the proper, uh, proper parts, proper tuning, and uh, you know the right prep work on it, and you don't overly abuse it, you can pretty reliably get 850 out of it on E85 out of a 15 to 17 stock Gen 2 motor. Um, and out of the 18 pluses, also with proper parts, proper tuning, proper install, and proper care, you can get re relatively reliably 950 out of it. Uh, you can push a little bit past that, but you're, you're just risking the rod to yeah, come absolutely. out or chipping a piston ring or something. So we, we kind of set our limits there. We do have customers that go past them and they know what they're getting into. Yeah. All right, so this car, he said it's more of a show car, but he said we definitely need to check it out. This car's more of a show car. Still get it up and goes at 700 horsepower. Oh, it makes 700. All yeah. right. So it still makes some good power. Yeah, so it's not just show. Show and go. Spent a lot of time on this. We did. We've done all the work on this build from day one. So we put the uh, the packs and setup on it. It's got the Vortec carbon intake on it. Uh, it's got air lift, air ride suspension. He ended up doing the uh, center package with it, which they don't make brackets for the car, so we had to custom make the brackets, engineer them so they could do the full height drop and uh, raise, and be all automatic. So basically, you can roll up, park, set it down, you can remote start the car, the car will get up to ride height. We've got him set up with his ride height that he can just cruise super low at, his drop height so he can go to the show and a uh, height that he can go and rip the track with because this suspension actually handles pretty well. Hell yeah, man. So Let's check it out. Yeah. Jeez, that thing is slammed. But he has it set at. He's <laughs> all just going, oh, there he goes. Oh, that's sick. So we made himself up. That's wild. Got some sweet stuff here, man. Yeah, thanks, man. My name is William Barnett. I'm the owner of Rare Fab. And uh, basically what we do is we take uh, cars and turn them into race cars. Uh, we primarily focus on S550 chassis. Uh, you bring your stock car in and uh, we'll put turbochargers, superchargers on it, suspension, basically anything that you need to do to get down the drag strip or around the road course. Uh, we can help you full service. So how I know Ken at Palm Beach Dino is, is that we work together. Basically, I build the cars, he tunes the cars. It's a pretty good relationship. He doesn't have to worry about the mechanic side of things, and I don't have to worry about getting the cars running right because he does a good job. Uh, and it works out really, really well because we're very quality orientated, and that makes his life easy. All right, so a couple of notable builds that we've done that aren't just, you know, fast Mustangs. We've done a 806 horsepower Lamborghini Huracan. Uh, we did custom race exhaust on it, custom intakes, all in 304 stainless, as well as a custom nitrous kit for it uh, to get it to make that power. We were running about a 200 shot on that. That was a pretty fun build. We've done several road race cars, uh, nothing that a lot of the mainstream guys would know, but back in the road racing industry is uh, some pretty cool stuff. Uh, we built Jimmy's S550, which was the first one into the sevens with the six or 80. We were a part of that. Uh, and we've been a part of Ken's build for a while. We've also got in the pot, we've got an R32 build that we're working on. Uh, gonna be about 1200 horsepower, full PWG sequential dog box tranny with Haltech for strain gauge shifting, it's gonna be badass. Next door we have Sam's car. Uh, it's a 2019 Mustang GT. How I got started with this is I kind of just stumbled into it. Um, you know, I, my father was a Ford mechanic. My mom was an old school Lake Worth street racer back in the day, so this was kind of in my blood. I ended up coming across an 03 Cobra 
and I really didn't want it because it was kind of a convertible, uh, but something just made me buy it, and it, uh, it spent its life as a road race car, so I just picked up where it left off, uh, and it was practically stock. It's not stock anymore. Um, it's a full-blown track car. And as I was building my car, I started to get people requesting, wanting me to do the same mods, um, for their cars and start working on their cars because they saw how I was building mine in my garage. One thing led to another, you know, I'm doing this stuff on the side and then it gets to the point that I'm like, I should probably open a shop. So I started the shop. So after about 10 years of racing, I opened up uh, Rare Fab here at this location and we've been open for about six or seven years now. It's getting hard to <laughs> keep track. Uh, and then Ken moved in, you know, next door not too many years ago when we hit it off and we started building s550s uh, i didn't always work on uh, mustangs i've worked on a lot of stuff because primarily i was doing fabrication uh, hence the name uh, i intercooler kits full turbo systems custom suspension roll cages you named it i worked on it you know nissans japanese domestics i, I really didn't care cars are cars man i just like building awesome stuff but we found our niche you know, making Mustangs really fast. So that's pretty much how I got here, by accident. <laughs> All right, guys, we've had an incredible day with some of the sickest streetcar Mustangs we've seen from incredible 1,000 horsepower sleepers, brand new GT500. That's a mega sleeper, been eights on street tires. I mean, that's, it's just wild. All of them pull like crazy. They all drive like stock. Incredible day, guys.